Hi, my name is Melissa Lindler. I'm the director for the Office of Business Opportunities, and we're so excited to join you and Mr. Ashante Thomas today in celebrating the opening opening of Swift Brand and Five Points, also known as the Original Village neighborhood. There's certainly a trend in the number of new innovative businesses locating in our great city. The Swift Brand, you are certainly part of that great trend. We're excited about the innovation. But we are even more excited about the innovation that comes from a commercial district that is diverse, inclusive, and reflective of the surrounding neighborhoods that it serves. That innovation creates community, and that community becomes an engine of economic success for everyone. As shown today with the business leaders that are present, our phenomenal mayor, our two city council members, Councilman McDowell and Councilman Brannon, that represent this great district, as well as the Five Points Business Association, you not only have a village behind you, but you have an entire city. <laughs> Councilwoman, thank you. Councilwoman Tina Herbert sends her regrets, but wants me to reassure you, she has court today, that she will certainly come by here and spend some money <laughs> later. Over to it. I will, I will, I, I know I'm gonna be in there too. But Ashanti, we are so happy for you, and we look forward to being a part of your journey and also a part of that village. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'm happy that we've gotten to this point. Uh, it took a lot of scrambling, a lot of weeks to get this all together. Uh, I did a lot of paint. I put three coats of paint in there on that wall's walls in there all by myself. So, uh, um, But yeah, I'm happy that we've gotten to this point in the city of Columbia has helped me tremendously. Um, Y'all have been behind me, share, whether it be sharing it on Instagram or having a meeting with me, it has been just very helpful. And I've been telling people, you know, we there's a lot of opportunity in Columbia, a lot of opportunity for something like this, and y'all proved me right, you know, so um, thank you for that. Uh, I just wanna say thank you to everybody. My girlfriend, my mom, my dad, um, everyone who's helped me um, to get this store open. Um, my little sister, she she works she works for me at Soda City every Saturday and early six o'clock in the morning. So thank you, little sis. Um, and you know, my girlfriend makes it possible. She watches the baby. Her mom watches the baby, which is I mean that is a huge help if y'all know. Um, but it is a great. Um, but thank y'all for coming. Um, please enjoy yourself. We got the coffee bar. We got Val, our barista. She'll take care of you. So let her know what you want. Everything is on the house today. So. Um, Except the close. But uh <laughs> but thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, it's another great day in Columbia. As we say, we're open for business, but you know, I, I wanna really commend Mr. Thomas. It's just incredible to have an entrepreneurial spirit like he did and, and some of you may not know his story, but you know, for me, it's kind of joyous that the first brick and mortar by a Clemson grad is here in Columbia, South Carolina. So look, it goes with our theme. We're open to everyone. Um, no, we're really excited for somebody to start off making t-shirts and, and clothing and selling it a, as a student and in that entrepreneurial spirit. And then now having brick and mortars is, is just a testimony, not only to, to his family, but to himself. and. You know, I know your daughter at the right time is going to really appreciate the what you're showing her on what, what can be done if you're determined and you want to do it. I think this is an incredible story. This is this is the story that we want to keep telling in Columbia, how we how businesses can grow and they, they can prosper. I, I, I spoke to Mr. Thomas for a few minutes at Soda City. And, you know, for somebody to take a trailer that's glassed in and draw people's attention and the thought process that he's gone through through his branding and social media and, and building this concept, I hope it, it, he's people are looking to him and going, I could do it. He did it. I could do it and learn from him because I'd like to see all across our city. It doesn't matter if you're on North Main or if you're in historic Five Points or you're down in the Vista that you have an opportunity to start a business and be part of Columbia's future. So Mr. Thomas, thank you so much for choosing this place and let, let us know however you can help. We can help and we can help you continue to grow. Thank you very much. Isn't it a great day in Columbia? And I think you know that small businesses are drivers for this city of ours. 
this business, Swift the brand. I've seen several, several hoodies over there that I like. <laughs> He takes all credit cards, cash, and checks. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> Mr. Thomas, look, it is our honor to be able to cut this ribbon today in terms of the, all of the hard work you and your family have done to make this a success. Five points is five points. It's a driver for our city. And this new business, this new business, of course, represents all that is going to happen in five points. So welcome to the city. Welcome to five points. And may your trip and may your clothing be synonymous with Swift brand. Thank you, sir. To it, continue on with the welcome to's the city of Columbia, five points, and District 3, welcome, 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 welcome. I'm Will Vernon, City Council District 3 member, and I look around, I see, see a lot of small business owners in the audience, and I, to, own a, to own and start a small business takes grit, determination, and, and vision. So to see the, from, from concept to storefront is amazing, and I am so uh, glad that the city of Columbia could, could play a part in that. Uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, our Office of Business Opportunity has done a fantastic job uh, yeah, creating this uh, business culture for us to grow entrepreneurial spirits, as, as our wonderful uh, mayor pointed out. Uh, Ms. Lindler and Ms. Driggers, fantastic job. Fantastic job. We at the city are here to grow small businesses with you with your entrepreneur, entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, best way, I'm gonna give out the website to OBO, obo.columbiasc.gov. Uh, let's attract more wonderful businesses. Uh, Mr. Thomas, just, just thank you so much for, for making uh, not only Columbia your brand building destination, but Five Points. Thank you so much. And I, and I mentioned to him he needs to get involved with the Merchants Association, so this segue perfectly right here. We did give him a free membership, by the way. <laughs> we give all new businesses a free one their first year just because we want them to be involved. But um, I'm Katie Renfro, and I'm, on behalf of the Five Points Association and our board of directors, I thank you all for coming. We really appreciate you supporting the Five Points District and our small business owners like Ashanti Thomas. And I'm, I'm really stoked about this personally because I feel like Five Points has never seen a luxury streetwear retailer before. And I think this is the perfect opportunity to have him be here and open up here in our fair city in our fair district. And our little village could definitely use somebody like Shashanti's business here, so we're very excited. Um, if you haven't seen his clothes yet, they're very uh, classic oriented, but he makes them very creative with the color choices and the small details that he puts on every piece. So every piece I've noticed has an embroidery with the Swift brand and everything, it's just great. So um, y'all definitely come in, check it out, enjoy some refreshments from Drip, and uh, come back tomorrow for his official opening to the public at noon. Thank you.